Doki Doki, my medical information expert. Baba, how you day now? Kun lady, your local food specialist. I'm fine, thanks. Doki, this one where you wear scrubs today. What I'm wish I'm going to Yeah, Kun really. I had some procedures to attend to today, so I felt scrubs would be more appropriate. Uh, but Kunle, wait, wait, what are you doing there? Uh, Doki, I clean my ear now. Uh, in fact, it's in the sweet myself. <laughs> Kunle, you should know better now. With all the talk, where are they talk? You are not cleaning anything. You are only pushing wax further into your ears. And you might just even damage your eardrums in the process. Eh, hey, Doki, when I saw our parents take train us now, well, there are quite a number of things that our parents raised us up with that are not correct. Our parents meant well, but they were wrong. So we shouldn't sustain those practices. The other danger with parents or adults putting cotton board in their ears, cleaning it, is that you are teaching young children to put things in their ears. And very, very often, we find them put things in their ears, damage their eardrums. We find, you know, foreign objects stuck in their ears. So inadvertently, we've taught them these practices, and we need to stop it. Okay, Odoki, I don't hear you. Hey, that reminds me, Doki. I hear say antibiotics they chop blood. Or gakunle today, which one be antibiotics chopping blood? Doki, na jaja ade my own no. We I go one superstore like that to go buy this cotton board now, and they get a one small pharmacy, one drug area for the superstore. Now I hear one man they tell the attendant say ah. Antibiotics don't, don't finish in Peking, they don't use, 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 use. Say, you won't collect blood tonic to give the Peking to replenish the blood with the antibiotic, don't chop, finish. Now, I say, ah, Doki, when I see you, I go ask, you say, antibiotic, they chop blood. Well, as usual, only without specific details, I can only speculate. Yes, it's true, I've heard that people say that antibiotics reduce the blood level, so they make a practice of using blood tonic after taking antibiotics. So, Doki, not true. Certainly not. Firstly, antibiotics should not be used indiscriminately. And I'm talking with respect to these habits that people have of self-medicating, where they will go and you know just get antibiotics over the counter and give to themselves or to their children. And this gradually renders our antibiotics useless as time goes by. Secondly, is the fact that when doctors prescribe antibiotics genuinely, it is to treat bacterial infections. And it is in fact serious bacterial infections that can reduce the blood level. Eh, hey, Doki, how? Well, Kunle, when there is an infection in the body, the body responds by sending soldiers, especially the white blood cells, to go and deal with the infection. And along with that, there are certain things we call inflammatory mediators that are also released. And all this together can have, you know, negative effects even on the blood cells while it is in the process of dealing with the germs that are attacking the body. So the resultant effect of this fight between the white blood cells and the bacteria is that the bacteria die, some white blood cells also die in the process. And in certain situations, due to the process of the infection, blood cells, particularly red blood cells, can also be damaged in the process and you have a low blood level. Oh, Doki, so whether now the germs have been an antibiotics, it's still necessary to take blood tonic after treatment for infection, have you? No, only things have to be looked at on case by case basis. Not everyone, in fact, not most people who need to be treated with antibiotics would require you know, what you refer to as blood tonics, which are actually iron containing supplements which help the body build up blood cells. So it's not something that should be routine, but something that if there is a reason to give it, then the doctor prescribes it. Hmm, Doki. So no be rule say a person must use blood tonic after using antibiotics. Not at all, Kunle. In fact, it's a practice we must discourage because there are some group of people who probably shouldn't be using iron-containing supplements at all. You know, for example, people with sickle cell disease. Okay, Doki. As usual, you don't blow my mind. I go try and just tell everybody where I feel tell. Doki, we go to see you later now. Kun Lady Olofo for specialist, investigative journalist extraordinaire. We go to see. Hello, people. Hope you enjoyed um, the series. Well, um, a few things that um, I would just want to elaborate a, a bit more on. This practice of cleaning the ears, you know, is something that we need to stop especially with children. I would, you know, be honest with you in my experience as a doctor, 
and as a boarding pediatrician i've seen several cases of children come to the hospital you know with one form of ear infection or the other or damage to their eardrum or what still you know a foreign object lodged in their ear or sometimes in their nostrils and this is an offshoot of this practice you know of cleaning the ears you know of children you know with cotton board and also is the issue of wax in action which is pretty common because when we think we are actually cleaning out our ears what we're doing inadvertently is that we're pushing wax further into the ear canal and over time it accumulates and builds up and then it can harden and it cause wax impaction that may require what we refer to as ear syringing to get the wax out and of course is the fact that when you're doing that you most likely would introduce germs into your ears and like i said earlier you can actually damage your eardrums Air wax is not dirt, okay? Air wax is a natural part of the body. It's a lubricant which helps to keep the air canal moist and keep germs and insects out of our ears. The body produces it naturally and cleanses out naturally. So when you start putting cotton buds in your ears, you disturb that natural equilibrium. So please, let's stop this practice of sticking things in our ears or in that of our children. Also is this practice of using blood tonic as you know is called by the layman after antibiotic use firstly is the fact that we need to address self-medication you see just like human beings learn to adapt to situations germs too learn to adapt hence when you abuse antibiotics either use them in the wrong dose use them when you don't need them the germs that are hanging around in our body tend to learn and they recognize these antibiotics over time and oh, later on when those antibiotics are used they don't work as they should because they are, the germs have developed resistance to these antibiotics so we do ourselves a lot of disservice when we walk into you know drug stores and buy antibiotics and use them illicitly you know there's this you know rife diagnosis out there malaria and typhoid ciprofloxacin as a drug has been so terribly abused it's considered as an you know a typhoid drug talk about amoxicillin too and these are things we need to put a stop to don't use an antibiotic if you don't need one and the truth is this it's not likely you can tell whether or not you need one without paying a visit to a doctor who would listen to your complaints, who would examine you, and then who would run certain tests which would say whether or not you have an infection caused by bacteria that may require antibiotic use. And of course, like we said in the series, the use of blood tonic after antibiotics is not the norm, okay? Antibiotics do not chop blood, you know, as Kunle said, you know, they don't, they don't. Rather, the infective process itself could be responsible for that but again case by case basis like we said you get seen by a doctor the doctor evaluates decides if there is any need for you to have this you know medications that we refer to as hematinics that help to build up the blood level they help you know when they are needed so please let's stop the practice of abuse of antibiotics and illicit use of blood tonic as you call them but we refer to them as iron containing supplement hematinics which help to build up the blood level till next time Conley is just right by the corner see you soon